What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off last time, uh, last time I actually fought uh, the first proper land battle with a main, well an actual army, and ta using tactics that I kind of want to uh, to employ in the future. So that was interesting to see that happen and we're also pushing on to try and take Bulgaria. We don't want to overextend too much because we do... I'm not so scared about the Austrians because they're, they're also being attacked by the Polish, I believe. Yes, they're at war with the Poles as well. And Bavaria to the west. So they're, they're at war on all fronts, officially, because they're surrounded entirely by Poland. I too am at war with Poland, but they're less bothered about attacking me. And hello, what's this? Trade of the United Provinces take it cool so as a bit of a bit of a recap how are we doing but an army down here in Cairo ready to respond to the Brits should they come back again but they have not come back again so it's tempting to redeploy them for the time being um, let's send these camels Cairo doesn't need camels let's send these camels to Baghdad because we're currently at peace with Persia and we're trading with them. Um, however, pieces do not necessarily last. Although we are very friendly. Even though we've been a brief war with them. And they're also they are also at war with Poland. So even though if they can't get to Poland, they are fighting a regular enemy. And we could also push up against Russia, which is an interesting route to take. But I think, right now, I'm quite happy with just holding position to act as a, a guard against Russian troops coming down. Our income is 3,000, but it's, which isn't very much, but it's because uh, my port here got raided and destroyed, so it'll be one turn for that to be repaired. Still going on with socket bayonet research. Before going on to European doctrines, we can recruit some new, more European style infantry. And we're also upgrading our economy. And flying shuttle is, is as good a way as any to progress this. Although we do need to keep going down this angle. So Kayseri, I believe Kayseri. First of all, Kayseri. Let's have a look. Refamiliarize myself with your agents. Plus one industrial. Plus one industrial. So you're good for in industry. Connie, I think, is a bit more. Plus one dueling. Flat. Plus one dueling. Okay, so right now, Kayseri is pretty much just right now very good for doing industrial techs. But let's hit in turn and let's see what happens. My spies are continuing to be on the move. That could be, I don't know, I was about to say that could be a attacking British army, but it's not. Oh, sorry, I need to mark off this episode as being recorded on my little list. Um, so our troops are moving around, well, the French troops are moving around. The Brits still aren't coming back, so it's tempting to move my army in Cairo, because it's currently doing nothing. Ooh, offering me a th hmm, age and 30 for common land enclosures okay what about just an even thousand nope so the Austrians are still on the move they're gonna they're gonna raid and be cheeky little scamps but that's okay Spain's taken Morocco, which is unfortunate. If they declare on Britain, I might actually be safe. And I can move my troops from Cairo. Because, hopefully, the British should not be able to progress through the, the Straits of Gibraltar. And I didn't miss that. I think P uh, Poland may be about to besiege and capture the last Prussian... Uh, settlement on the map because they've lost Berlin I'm pretty sure they are actually if they take Gdansk then 
Poland's knocked out Prussia, which never happens. In which case, that might be worthwhile to push up comes. God damn it. Wait. Ah, they sabotaged my trade port when it was already broken. Okay, so you need... I don't need melee infantry. Isoredes are not great, but I want to recruit them as a bit of a... As a bit of a supporting measure. And what I want to do, actually, is do I draw these guys into battle? Do I lay siege to Bulgaria? I mean, I could, I mean, I could take it, to be honest. Hmm. I think... I think I want to hold on. I want to draw this stack in to try and break the siege at Sofia, and then I can destroy them both together in one fight. Because right now taking the city itself won't do much good. I can deploy... If they attack me, I'd go on the defensive. I can deploy back away from these guns. Because my risk, my concern is because I'm so offensive moving forward. Well, they're actually, they are quite... They are quite depleted most of... Well, they're very really depleted most of the way. Um... To be honest, with all this cavalry I've got, I might actually just do it. Yeah. No, no, hold on. <laughs> Still going to do some empire management for a bit. Okay, let's build a sloop to sit in this trade port. So let's build up. Not too much. I do need to keep upgrading my economy. So I'm aware I do have vineyards in Greece I can upgrade. I'm just reluctant to do that because it makes them... They are exposed. Migi yield, Migi yield. Low yield vineyards, still not bad. So I'll take that. Yep, Greece has Israelis. They're raiding port. They're raiding towns that have no... Nobody in them. Yeah, I want, I want to bring in the Austrians. So, diplomacy... Spain. Spain is at war with Britain. And I doubt Britain's going to be sailing through the channel with a navy like that sat right outside it. So the time could be ripe to take this army, rather than garrisoning Egypt, send them over to Baghdad to act as a garrison. And these armies can go on some probing expeditions and maybe move up and hit Don Voisko. And to be honest, you can't get through there without declaring war on Dagestan, so you guys just catch up with them. Sweet. Nation destroyed Morocco. They are indeed destroyed. Poland could be about to absolutely crush Prussia. Although that's... Mm, they're not fortified. That's a lot of cavalry against a lot of infantry and a reasonable amount of cavalry. Nah, pressure's done for, lads. I think my spy's probably better served down here. It's cool to keep an eye on what's going on up here, but at the same time I want to keep an eye on <laughs> my, near, my, near, my near borders, I suppose. Oh, I might just... I'll oh, just go for it. Let's go take Sophia. It's not a question of whether or not I'll win, because I'm definitely going to win. It's a question of, will I bugger it up so much that I lose significantly more men than I need to? Because, as you guys know, I'm definitely known to do that. I'll, uh... Things won't go right, and... And everyone will die, which... Gun's gonna sit up here. Let's really spread some cavalry out. 
although we've got two units of cavalry. Let's put some Mamelukes on each flank to push around. Our Grenadiers and Janissaries can go in. Or, or actually, do I make my musket arm troops go around the flanks? Largely go around the flanks. And set a smaller or slightly weaker column with melee infantry support to go in through the centre. Backed up by my Riskers of Souls. Okay, I can hear the howitzers dropping. Okay, I want my Israelis and my other Israeli unit. Start going after them. Let's get my Riskers of Souls are sucking up all the damage so far. I've completely exposed my artillery. So send in my riskers of souls. My general's at risk, but not massively all of you guys focus on them there we go let's get my riskers of souls involved isn't good. So my general's about to get involved in fisticuffs. Smash into that militia garrison. Charge my riskers of souls straight through the centre. These guys are deploying in a very funky position because of this hilltop here. God, this has been... This is horrifically bad. A bunch of cavalry died on that set of spikes. Charge my melee infantry. I mean, you guys definitely don't don't get involved in the combat there. This is my <laughs> no, my my common common explanation is this is my first battle of the session. Shooting a Swiss line infantry is going to do some bad things. Uh, 
Cut them down. Not this really needed. Everyone's dead. There we go. Yeah, my troops are slightly depleted, but not massively. Um, so it's still, still, still a fantastic win. I don't know, it's not so bad. 410. We've recaptured the city of Bulgaria. They're now under our rule and contributing a mighty 305. Is it 305? 350. 350 coin per turn. And to be honest, this guy is so bad at converting converts in Europe. I'm just going to march him. Just get him out of the way. So let's send them to Lahore. Although he's absolutely going to... Oh, good. He, because he was in the city, he hopped straight across. Sweet. So we're growing Islam in Ankara. Batman's about to be developed. Na 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 Batman. Okie doke. Okay, let's end turn. See what happens. There goes our camels. Great Britain's wandering around. So about now is when they just decide to send another army to go take Cairo. That's the the usual uh, the usual procedure. Um, there you go. They've offered a grand now. Sweet. I'll take it. Um, no. Oh, nuts. And eh, alter it. That. So they've wrecked, they'll have wrecked our ports. But that's okay. This is why we were in, they were building these Israelis in Greece and in Istanbul. And as soon as they drift anywhere near Sofia... Well, that's not good. That's definitely priming for some sort of amphibious, amphibious assault. Yep, Poland's taken Gdansk, and Prussia is eliminated. So all of their forces that were currently occupied fighting the Prussians are now going to be heading this way, which is concerning. It is concerning. Spanish. Oh, the Italian states got repulsed from uh, Naples. I just going to get confused with the flags. Now, it has been pointed out why I've not taken Patras, and the reason why I've not taken Patras is that the Iroquois are allies with France. So that would be opening up a whole can of worms I do not want, especially for a territory. Not really what I... The opportunity to construct useful buildings here has yet to be... Okay, so Elat has developed, and you are going to get a craft workshop. The main thing we want to do is take... Okay, they have a... Ah! We found a quite a good spy, actually. This brings this already over to garrison the port. Same with you guys. Actually, you can stay here. If they fancy coming after you, you can, you can do some fancy shenanigans. Okay, let's rebuild the port. Spend some money replenishing our frontline army, and let's try and build up some of these farms. Better infrastructure would be nice, but you can't be trusted. So I don't want a small. Ma Actually, I might want a madrasa over here because a madrasa helps spawn spawn religious agents. So that might be a good idea. Prussia is gone. But what does that mean for us? Prussia is dead. There's no point hanging over it. So they're allied with France and Russia. They're at war with Austria, Marathas, Spain, pirates, the United Provinces. Okay, why don't we just tr chill out, Poland? We aren't. Peace, peace, trade, and we'll give you a mighty 151 gold. Because right now, we don't need to fight. I'm not interested in fighting you. I'm interested in Crimea, though. I do need to fix this Turkish bath, though, as well. But yes, push on to Don, Don Voisko, because it's quite handily defended from this direction, because it's just one bridge. 
There's lots of open terrain here they could run around in, but I'm not so bothered about that. Actually, can I trade with Dagestan? I mean, I know they were hostile, but dang. We have to take them out at some point. <laughs> That's for darn sure. Okay, one more turn until we've got uh, the flying shuttle. If anything, then I might take this army up to Tbilisi. If my Cairo force is now going to be the new guardians covering covering the Persians, then this smaller army can move up to Tbilisi and hold. Might even build a fort. But even then they might just go hit Azerbaijan. But if they do, they do. Just make sure I'm taxing everyone. Good stuff. So we found that agent, but we can't do anything about it, sadly. Port. Good. End turn. Yeah, let's get our agent out of the way. Yep, so the Brits are now waging naval warfare against the Spanish. Like I said, it's nice that... It's nice that Spain holds the channel, holds the Strait of Gibraltar now, because that directly benefits us. It means we've not got to worry about it. I mean, it doesn't stop someone else from from um, attacking it. I mean, you can raid the farms if you like, but... Oh, Spain's definitely not happy about something. All the Catholic nations are banding together to hit our uh, Muslim brothers. Trouble is, I've not really, rec I've not really <laughs> researched many naval texts to give them. No, they're going to try to steal my research, the devils. <laughs> Swedish priests are wandering through. Okay. Ooh, no, that's nothing to do with us. Awesome. Italian states are on the move. Still making waves against Spain, so at least it gives Spain a target other than us, which they might be tempted to attack. Stay where you are, Dagestan. Glad the pirates are still there around. Flying shuttle. For awesome. This region. Okay, let's repair you. We'll reinforce you and move you up. Okay, now we're gonna, so we should start to get more trade income next turn. Do we have any buildings that can take advantage of the flying shuttle right off the bat? No, because all that does is just provide a bonus rather than unlocking a new building. What we want is a spinning mule, which requires division of labour. No, it requires wealth of wealth of nations. No, 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 no it is division of labour. We'll crack on with that. Two turns to get socket bayonets, which is great. We've got a Grand Animal team. We start to grade our wineries, so let's just pick up. Actually, somewhere down here, there's a government building that needs rebuilt upgrading. Grade. What upgrade you to roads? I do like roads as an upgrade in general. Up a sloop for there. Let's build a farm. Pasha's palace in Baghdad would be handy, but we've already spent enough money that we can't build roads, so I may as well build wineries. Well, wineries and farms. Let's upgrade the farms in Istanbul. Awesome. Still not repair the governor's palace, but whatever. Okay, 
Okay, I don't have any spare cheap ships to send over there. No, I don't. To, co to occupy this port. So let's send them up to resupply. Res to not resupply. Support. Kick it. Catch it. Guess each is daddy. Hey, I might have. No. <laughs> not even going to try. Even though I didn't, failed badly. Radio. Let's hit intern again. As our armies continue to be on the move. Funnily enough, if Dagestan pushed towards Azerbaijan, I would like to take that breather of them being away from their capital to go and capture <laughs> um, their territory. See how they like it. Hmm. So we really need to hammer down the economic growth tree. Well, the, the Enlightenment tree, because that's what spurs growth more so than industrial buildings. So they're fortifying their front line. Oh, okay, fall back. Fall back. Oh, God! The Dutch have taken Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so you want to talk about a messed up campaign? This is it. I mean, Poland's knocked out Prussia. Uh, Goddamn, United you know, Provinces has taken Paris. Whether or not they'll hold on to it is a bigger question. Um, but I think that's pretty cool. Especially as. Ooh, opportunity to intercept. Oh, why have I got a... I've got, I've got chaff units here. I've got some Muslim and I've got some Seminese. <laughs> yes. Obviously, I want to intercept. <laughs> Very at all. Um, I'm going to let them come at me. They can come right at And we will blast them with round shots. Goodness. Beautiful. I mean, our units are pretty junk, but meh. Okay, let's do that. And let's line them up to here. Let's put some of our melee troops behind to protect them. Let's get. A unit of camels and a unit of uh, mamelukes on one flank. Unit of camel nomads on the other. And then you guys can just get ready to push over here. So, this flank. Stretch out a little more. You guys get up on the hill. You guys stretch out a little more. And start moving up my cavalry. They're running up. Well, they're running up on the left. If they want to get into melee range, they're more than welcome to. Start hitting. Even though they're out of range of canister shot, switch to canister. Actually, no, they're way out of range. Charge in to take them out, and that means these two units can run over here and be on the flank of the Cossacks before they get into before they position, please. Come on, camel nomads, you can do it. Okay. Do 
Keep the camels moving. There we go, that's that infantry unit broken. You're going to get some lovely flanking fire on the Russians over here. So my camels form up. Mamelukes chase them down. Don't get involved in a musket fight with them. You guys up on the hill. You, no, no, no. Pick the wrong ones. You guys attack them. The camels flank around and hit the other guys. You pound that square formation. You pound this regiment of foot forming up back here. They've been annihilated. Come on, just kill the last remaining infantry. Okay, let's peel this flank back. Oh no, pikemen. Come on, six of them. You guys charge those regiment of foot. You guys push up. Come on, they're shaken, but kill them. God damn, camels are great. focus on them these guys are about to get slaughtered by camels and to be honest let's pull my ha ah, pull my general into the mix for a horrible minute I thought that I was about to say your general is dead it's like he shouldn't be chase them down, you guys chase the Cossacks down. Awesome. General chase down that unit of Cossacks, let's hot fire, turn off the artillery. Give our camels some backup. And then speed up time. Absolutely continue. Go, go, gadget camels! Nah, they're gonna lose some of my troops here, but whatevs. Everyone kill this last unit of regiment of foot. Decisive victory. Damn right, we just annihilated the first Russian column ahead. See, our musketeers might not be as good, but damn, when we rip around the flanks, they've only got 522 men remaining.
they've been pushed back to Cherkask. Question is, is this some kind of trap? <laughs> um, probably not, but you never know. The AI can be devilishly clever. Oh, the Mughals might be, about to, might be about to wipe out the Maratha Confederacy, which would be concerning. Because I'm currently trading with them. Well, on paper I'm trading with them. Whether I actually am or not is another question. Go, go Gadget, Barbary States. There is unused oh, land oh, that's not suitable good. for farming in this region. Lost our trade agreement with France. That's not good at all. Just recruit a general. Don't want any Armenian archers. Probably want. Oh, nine pounds is too far away. Two units of eighteen pounders and a unit of good unit of janissaries. Repair the mine. Let's see if we can get the, an immediate. Oh, I can't. Wait. I can't trade with them because all of my trade ports are full, allegedly. Oh! <laughs> they don't have. Because <laughs> they haven't got the ports to trade with me. Right. I forget. <laughs> God damn. I am trading in United Provinces and we're very friendly. I mean, they're allied with Austria, but they still like me, so I'll take it. Build a sloop, but I'm going to keep them there for one turn. Can't fix you. Still don't have lots of cash, because trading is being interrupted. I can't. Not that not there's many of you guys left to replenish, but let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fall back. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> right, what I said. The AI doesn't do doesn't do traps. That's not a thing they do. What do they turn up and do? Sweden, you are at war with Russia. God damn! Right, okay. <laughs> Peace. Peace and trade. No. Okay, you need to fall back. Fall back to the fort. I am not going to push there. Especially now I might have triggered them and they might come straight for me. You've got a potter at Jerusalem. Awesome. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.